Okay, we're going to start uh, the notes for the trigonometry piece here, and this is the last, this is a really big unit, the last unit we're going to see this semester. Okay, uh, we're going to start off with looking at 45, 45, 90 degrees, special right triangle. And again, remember, copy these into your notebooks, log in the page number, write it on your table of contents. For this, for this 45, 45, 90 degree triangle, I'm going to talk about what this means. We know that a triangle is obviously a closed geometric shape with three sides. But the fact that it's a right triangle tells you that it has a what? A 90 degree angle. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to look, it's going to be triangles like this. It's going to have a 90 degree angle like this. Make this a little bigger. And these two sides have to be these legs. These are called the legs here. Right, the 90 degree is in between right there, right the, the corner there. These are legs. This is a leg, and this is another leg. The sides are called legs. They're going to be congruent. If you remember that from geometry, they're going to be exactly the same length. So you have to make them look like they're the same. Not one shorter, not, with, not another one longer. Okay, and then we know this side is the... hypotenuse side now we can see the legs are going to be congruent we got the two legs that are congruent and if you remember congruent means what they're exactly equal in measure. In this case, they're exactly the same size, the same length, right? This, whatever this measures, eight feet, eight inches or whatever, this is also eight. These will not be different, not for a 45. But the hypotenuse will, the hypotenuse is gonna be a different a different uh, measure. They're not gonna be all the same measure. This would, do, this would be too easy. The legs are congruent. Equal in measure. So the two legs are the same. These two are going to be exactly the same. If I know this one, this one's five. Well, then heck, this one's five too. It's a no-brainer. Got nothing to figure out. Question is, what's this one? Right, this is going to be a different, a different measure. So the two legs are congruent. And here's, here's how to figure out this hypotenuse side. And, and there's actually, if you just kind of know the, the relationship for the sides, you don't really have to sit there and do any calculations. Um, the hypotenuse, here's the part. Here's the big piece. All right, here's facts. The hypotenuse, here's to figure out the measure of the hypotenuse to get that measure without having to do any kind of work or anything really. The hypotenuse, um, the measure of the hypotenuse will be I'm just going to put as equal to, just to save us a little time. The hypotenuse is going to be the measure of the leg times root 2. The measure of whatever the leg is 
times this times root 2 times the square root of 2. And that's all going to make sense right now in a little bit. The hypotenuse is whatever the leg is times root 2. And root 2 is like 1.41 something, so it's greater than the leg. Remember, the hypotenuse is going to be a greater length. If this is 8, this is going to be 8. This is going to be 8 times root 2. So let's just put a couple of examples there. Actually, I'll wait for that in a bit. Um, so a 45-45 90 degree special right triangle is also known as a 45-45 90 degrees special right triangle. is also isosceles right triangle. Okay, now we're getting into a lot of vocabulary here. Let's talk about that and why that's true. Okay, I already know triangle, three sides. We talked about that over here. I know the right part. We already talked about that. That's the 90 degree angle. What's isosceles? Isosceles, if you remember, an isosceles triangle Back from geometry, an isosceles triangle had what? Two, and it's, it's a triangle that has what? Two congruent sides, right? Remember? And I mentioned that over here. These two legs are your, the legs are the two sides that are congruent. An isosceles triangle has two congruent sides. But that doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that this angle has to be 90. There's different types of isosceles triangles that don't that don't have this as a 90 degree. But in this case, it's isosceles. And then the right, it does make this. It forces this one to be 90. Right? And if you force this angle to be 90, and I'm going to blow this up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, make this a little bigger. If I make this a little bigger here. And if this one is the right, this one has to be 90 here because it's an isosceles right. If this one's 90 and these are congruent, then what do these have to be? Remember, if these sides are congruent, so are these base angles. These base angles are congruent. While I know that the three sides have to add up to 180, right? Remember, for any triangle, the sum of the interior angles have to add up to 180. And if this is 90, if this one's 90, then what do these two have to add up to be? So that the so that they the total sum is 180. Well, if this one's already 90, these two have to also add up to 90. But that means that what? If these two have to add up to 90 also, because 90 and 90, that doesn't make this 90 and 90. That means that these two have to be what? 45 and 45, right? Because 45 plus 45 is 90. So that's why this is a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. That's what they're talking about when they say 45, 45, 90. It's the angles. The two base angles, which these are the two, the base angles are, are 45, 45, and then the 90 degree is the one that, that kind of joins the two legs right there, 90 degrees. Right? So what they're going to do is they're going to turn triangles around. 
They're going to rotate them or turn them or whatnot, but they're 45, 45, 90. Okay, so you'll see like this. They can draw it like this. Or they can draw it like this. Or they can draw it like this, the way they did over here. Oops. You have to know which one's the 90 degrees, obviously the 90 degree corner. But you have to know the angles. Okay, remember these two will be the legs. They'll be congruent. This is the hypotenuse side. Okay, so different ways that they're going to show you that it's a 45, 45 degree 90. Well, just because they have this doesn't mean it's 45. They have to tell you one of the angles. They'll tell you one of the angles is 45. If that's 45 and this is 90, that makes this one 45. It's a 45, 45, 90. Another way they'll show you by using symbols or some marks or something is they'll, sometimes they'll, they'll show you this, but they'll put the, the congruency. They won't put 45, but they'll put the congruency marks. And if that's congruent, that makes this 45, 45. This is a 45, 45, 90. What's another way that they might put some marks here so that, so that you know it's one of these special right triangles? Instead of marking the sides congruent, they'll just mark the angles congruent. But again, they won't write 45, 45. If this is 90 and these two are congruent, well, then it has to be 45, right? Okay, so this is the, uh, the introduction for these 45, 45, 90. On the next video, um, we'll go over how to do the, the work and the assignment.